Hey guys, welcome to my channel if you are new here and welcome back if you have been here before. Uh, today we are making this black and white acrylic sign for a local coordination client of mine. The full supplies list and both fonts are all linked down below in the video description along with a tutorial for the copper stand. So I'm starting over in Cricut Design Space, as always, entering in a box to serve as my placeholder. Now this box is just located in the shapes. I then unlock it and change it to the size of the material I am working with. In this case, I'm working with a acrylic sheet that is 24 by 32 inches. I then add in my text, changing it to the correct font, then ungrouping and dragging those letters together so I can weld those to cut as one. I roughly position those onto the placeholder while I add in the rest of the text. So the heart is actually a part of a font and I want to show you how I pull that from Creative Fabrica's font cloud and into Cricut Design Space. I frequently use this font manager to preview the fonts that I have downloaded to it and also as a character map to see the special glyphs within each of those fonts. Um, this set is part of the Angela Gardness font, um, so when you download that font, you also get the swash set as well. All I have to do is click on the character for it to copy to my clipboard and then paste that into Cricut Design Space. So since my font is still set over on Cricut Design Space as the Angela Gardness, whenever I paste it in, it shows as the Q in that font. All I have to do is change it over to the other font, which is the swash one, for it to update to the heart symbol. Um, I can then change the sizing and move it around just like I would any other letter. I then add in the rest of the text, adjusting the font and sizing for my design. To help save on vinyl and time, I rearrange these decals so they will fit on as few of mats as possible. You can do this after you click the make it, but it's just easier for you to see me do this on the canvas. All I do is adjust the placeholder box to the largest size that my Cricut Maker can cut, so an 11 and a half by 23 and a half, and see what makes the most sense. I was able to fit the welcome part the Olivia and the heart all on one mat, and then the Gino and the date on the other. Each sign I make is different though, depending on the size of the sign, the names, and the fonts used. I set the material to the premium outdoor vinyl setting and use my 12 by 24 inch cutting mats. Since these pieces are so large, I like to weed these on the mat, but first slicing in between the sections so I can easily weed my vinyl.
I then apply transfer tape with grid lines so I can easily align this onto my acrylic. I arranged the decals onto my acrylic sheet, um, measuring each and finding the center of the decal so I can then center that with my acrylic sheet. Um, I usually use a weight or a piece of tape to anchor that down um, while I apply half of the decal onto the piece. Um, I then hinge the other side down. Um, so I do go over this in greater detail in some of my other videos. If you need a better explanation of the hinging method, I will also link that down below. So I always get my acrylic from my local plastic store, um, especially a black like this. You are not going to be able to get this at like a Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, you can get your clear acrylics from there but they are more expensive than my local plastic store and it is such a pain to go in, track someone down, practically beg them to cut it to size and then you're standing there, um, you know, wasting your time watching them do it. And sometimes they just don't even have someone available to do it. Um, so I found it is so much easier um, to just work with my local plastic store. So whenever I have a big order or if I need to um, re-up the supply at my office, all I do is send an email with the, um, the color, the sizes, and the different thicknesses that I need of each. Um, so like a leading seating chart is going to be a different thickness than say like a table number that's going to be really thin to fit into my wood holders and that's going to be way different than like the seating chart would be because sometimes those are leaning against the wall they're not even going on the easel so they do have to be thicker to be able to support themselves and not bow um, so I do have different thicknesses for the seating chart, the welcome sign, the gifts and cards, and the table numbers. So it is just so easy to just send a quick email to my rep and then he just lets me know like in a couple of days that it's ready to pick up and then I just go pick it all up there at their warehouse. One thing that I noticed with this black acrylic is that it does show every little dust particle, so I would have some cleaner and wipes on hand for your own event. So let me know down below in the comment section any questions that you have about creating your own signs or ordering from your own local plastic store. Just let me know what questions that you have down below. And of course, hit that subscribe button so I can see you again soon.